We're going to be joined by Jack, one of the former Trinidad and Tobago Football Association advisor and also former FIFA vice president. Mr. Warner, good morning to you. Thanks a lot for joining us. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Rich. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, Mr. Warner. First of all, your immediate reaction to William Wallace becoming TTFA president. I am extremely thrilled and pleased. I must confess that I supported him all the way. I felt that football was at its lowest level and somebody knew how to come in to rescue football. I thought of all the combatants in the field, what is, um, William Wallace was the best. What attributes, Hello? Do you, what, do you, what do you think William Wallace brings to the table? What he brings for the ball is freshness. If you look at his team also too, his team is experience. He himself has experience based on his sojourn in the secondary school football league. And last but not least, he's a listener. He, does, he, believe, he doesn't believe he has all the answers. And he's passionate about football, about the sport. And like the whole country, he wants to see the sport improve, particularly on the field of play. You're a former TTFA advisor, Mr. Warner. What, what advice would you give to William Wallace as he enters this new era of TTFA? The first thing I would advise him to do is to do an audit of the TTFA to see where they are literally, where they are financially, what they have, who they owe and who they don't owe. That is, to, and, and he must make that public. So you mustn't go in there on the presumption that things are hunky dory in the TNTFA. I would then suggest to him that he call all the major stakeholders in the country and get from them their point of view on where the football should go. And last but not least, he should do his utmost to revive local football and women's football. If nothing else he must do is to revive local youth football. Youth football is important and also women's football. You know, Mr. Warner, with so much to be done, what would be the first thing that he should tackle? Well, I told you, the first thing is to do an audit of the TNTFA. That's the very first How? thing. But when you look at the senior national team and with the 2022 World Cup coming, you know, should we take our eyes off that World Cup then? I don't think, based on what I have seen on the field of play, that we have any hope of, of getting into 2022. It would have to be a miracle. Trinidad Tobago football is now at its lowest. On the very same day that he opened his house of football, that is John Williams, this country was relegated to B League in CONCACAF. Even Curacao is now higher than we are. And for me, if nothing else, this has been the worst period of, of, of local football that I, have, that I can recall. Uh, uh, what legacy do you think? Uh, David John Williams will go down in Trinidad and Tobago f football history has? As the man, he will go down in history as the man who believed that a house of football was symbolic or, or was a substitute for excellence on the field of play. He believed that a house of football was, was representative of excellence in football. It does not. A house of football may be nice and good, but it doesn't get you to Qatar, it doesn't get you to a World Cup final doesn't get your, your, your football on the field of play at a higher level. And that's a mistake that he has made. In addition to, he's not a listener. He believes he has all the answers. And that is the, that is the major fault of, of the ex-president. Ex, uh, mm. Mr. Warner, when you look at straddled in debt, this uh, TTFA, you know, when does, it, when, where does it go from here in terms of all the debt? I mean, even you, uh, the TTFA, owes money to. They owe money to everybody, including me. And I think that what, after the audit has been done, what uh, the new president has to do is to call in these different uh, people who, 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 who are owed and to see if he could negotiate with them some kind of settlement, some kind of payment over a protracted period. He may even get some of them to reduce the amount of money owed to them. Because I'm quite sure that many of them, including me, will see a new dawn, a new era in football. You know what is important, my friend? That I must commend those people who voted for William Wallace yesterday. After all, Mr. John Williams brought in FIFA President Infantino, who, by the way, insulted me when he came here in this, in this country, unheard of anywhere in the world, and Infantino and the President of, of CONCACAF and the Prime Minister all lapped it, lapped it up. He brought in FIFA President. He brought in CONCACAF President. He brought in the Prime Minister. He brought in the Minister of Sport. And not one of them was able to save him yesterday. So therefore, I must commend those voters highly for the sense of maturity they showed yesterday. That in spite of all these, these top personalities 
and these messages and promises and so on, they were able to see through the, the darkness of football to, to, to produce some light. Mr. Warner, you're right. Uh, the FIFA president came, the CONCACAF president came. What do you think and are the... Prime, and don't forget the Prime Minister also was there. Right, but what and do you... And the Minister of Sport, all hoping to pop him up. And those voters yesterday saw through all of that, my friend. And they have to be commended very highly. What do you think the, the reactions are, the real reactions, that is, are at FIFA and CONCACAF level this morning? Well, they would be tears, as he has been since, since yesterday evening. Because all of them invested heavily in him, hoping that they could have him as their football stooge. Look, look, my friend, this country at one time had the best referees, the best match commissioners, had the best ma football managers. We were in the top 46 in the world, and they have made sure. In fact, we also were able to have the whole Caribbean organized and under a union. What they did was to hope that they, they can use David John Williams to keep football as, as football is, to keep football where it is today. They thought that they can could have used him, pop him up, and therefore all football could be in the doldrums. And if it's in the doldrums, then theirs would be at, at, at the high level. In the Caribbean, we have 28 members out of 35 in CONCACAF. Who is CONCACAF president? A Canadian. They have, there are seven members in CONCACAF who are not from the Caribbean. And yet, for they couldn't find a leader in Trinidad to emerge as the president of CONCACAF and the CFU and to lift football from where it is. That will change, I'm sure. Because those guys who came here, came here against, against progress. And therefore, because of the fact that they lost yesterday, all of them now will be very worried, I'm quite sure. We have the, the house of football, as you call it, Mr. Warner. You know, William Wallace, he, he surely has to be open to using this to the best of his advantage. He has to. And what is good for him, he has gotten a soft landing. Because everybody wanted a change in football, except David John Williams, except FIFA, CONCACAF and the Prime Minister. Everybody wanted a change in football. And therefore, what David Williams has now done is to get a landing that is receptive to the vast majority of people out there who have some hope that football will get back where it had been over the years. You know, Mr. Warner, I listened to you speak, and, but the, the public, Trinidad and Tobago, it's been, what, 13 years uh, since we went to a World Cup. Any World Cup. Right. Uh, you know, and, and the public is again hungry for success, P perhaps if, even if we don't qualify for Qatar 2022. Uh, you know, we've got a string of, of about 10, 11 defeats out of 15 matches. My friend, we got 22 defeats. Don't forget, 22 out of 23. The one we won was against Angola. Right. So, you know, the, the public is obviously hungry for success. How does William Wallace now quench the thirst of, of, of a very thirsty Trinidad and Tobago for football success while also building on, on, on you know, having to rebuild, rather? It, it, it may not be easy for him because you know what John Williams did? John Williams signed new contracts with all his coaches the night before the election. The night before the election. So Williams has a tough task on his hands. I have to find some legal way to get around these new, uh, new, these new contracts or at, at best find persons who are receptive, who will help him to, 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 to live football regardless of the contracts that have been signed. And the country is hungry because this country has seen about seven World Cups at all levels in previous years. The last year being 2006, 2000, 2010, sorry. And, no, 2009, I'm sorry, but, but the other 17 women. And the fact is that since then there has been nothing except going downhill. Football here is at no its lowest level. And in the past, football was, 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 the, was the ingredient, the tool that was being used to weld this country together. Don't forget what happened in 2005 when he came back from Bahrain, my friend. Don't forget 2006, this country. Don't forget 89, when we all, all in red. He said, this, this is what football can do. And football wasn't doing this. Football was being destroyed by John Williams and his colleagues overseas. The question of Dennis Lawrence, Mr. Warner. I am disappointed in Lawrence, to be honest. I was one of those who, um, who supported him when he came as coach. But Lawrence must understand that he has some shortcomings. Look, my friend, remember we had several coaches here. And at the very last minute, I had to go and bring Leo Binhaka, at my personal extent, by the way, bring Leo Binhaka here to carry this team to the World Cup. When Binhaka came, we had one point. We had one point. And yet, after six games, he was able to take this team into Germany. We have to find
find another bin hacker to get to rescue a football. David may, David may mean well, but what David has to do is to work with whoever comes to rescue football. Anything else will be disaster. Should we then be looking for an international coach as opposed well, sure. to local talent? We, we sure. Yeah, that, we, yeah, that, I was a feeling that we have all the answers for everything. But we don't. We are, we are, we are speck of dust in the world and particularly in the world of football. We don't have all the answers. And we have to go out there and get people who can help us and help us quickly. Otherwise, we do. Mr. Jack Warner, thank you very much for joining us on The Morning Brew this morning. No problem at all, man. I feel free anytime. I really appreciate it. Jack Warner, the former FIFA vice president, weighing in on William Wallace becoming the new Trinidad and Tobago Football Association president, marking the start of a new era after defeating incumbent David John Williams 26 votes to 20 yesterday.